going to fix them because the good parts of them are so attractive and so alluring. You see, if I can just fix this part, this thing will be perfect. You're aiming for the perfect. Difference between somebody being bad for you and somebody being toxic for you. End of your note. Um, if you're an empath, someone who always feels the pains of other people and you always want to help, you always want to fix people. So if you like to fix people, then definitely you'll be drawn to people who need fixing. And the thing to learn about this Jonathan Mayers and his situation with this lady, his ex, is that the dynamics of the relationship might have shifted. And one of the things he said, the number one, the first thing I want to point out is he said, I should have walked away. I should have been brave. I should have said, no, this isn't working. And I should have walked away. Because he knows his lady. He knows when they start to have misunderstandings. He knows how far things can escalate. So someone has to be the one who de-escalates, who steps away. But perhaps people, a lot of us love high stressful and high pressure relationships. Come on, Angel. Please text me. What's up, Angel? Who's calling? Someone who, who's, who's Angel on the phone? Who's Barbara? Who's Mike? Who's... And all of that. So... A lot of people like those kinds of drama because they say there's nothing as great as makeup sex. So people have that mindset. And so when he says he should have walked away, he truly and really means it. But especially when you're an empath, you don't know where the lines are. The lines are blurred for you because you want to fix them because the good parts of them are so attractive and so alluring. You see, if I can just fix this part, this thing will be perfect. You're aiming for the perfect. And so you stick around and they keep doing and doing and doing and doing and doing it. And, and you keep tolerating and tolerating and you forget that as they're rubbing off against you and rubbing off against you, they are also changing you and changing your personality. They like the challenge. Oh, I fixed them. Oh, I, I, set, I, set, I set them correct. You know, when the world, it was just you and I against the world. They like that Barbie and Ken thing. Us against the world. So they are more likely, empathic people are more likely to practice the ride or die or have that ride or die mentality. So he should have walked away. Yes, he should have walked away. He should never have stayed in that relationship. And now there is a switch up now in that relationship where now it's Megan and, and himself. And I'm looking at Megan doing that interview and she's looking like the kind of person who now is the empath, who is also now staying with him now, who seems to be the from the alleged allegations, who seems to be the toxic one now between the both of them, because you must understand that every one of us have this erratic side and this amazing side. And there's a proportionality between the two sides that makes us either toxic or someone that is safe. There's a difference between somebody being bad for you and somebody being toxic for you. Okay? There are people who just have bad behaviors, but, then, but you can live with them. But there are those who are toxic. They're toxic because being around them changes you. It takes a lot of emotional strain and drains you of your energy. And before you know it, you cannot recognize who you are anymore. So it's difficult for me to tell if, jo if Jonathan Mayer's has bad behaviors or he's a toxic person but whatever it is he identified one thing in that relationship and he said they had a toxic relationship our relationship was it was not healthy you know and that began to reveal itself over time why does that i i was i was scared he, he, he. So for him to say that, that means probably they've had a lot of verbal confrontations or they've, they've laid, you know, on each other in the past. That's high pressure and for whatever reason they stayed with each other. So that relationship was toxic. And so it takes an empath to be able to stay with, a, with, with, with someone who is erratic. But sometimes they go overboard and they become toxic. Bust of anger. Sometimes you don't you don't know what version you're gonna get. When you're around them, you're walking around like you're walking on eggshells or glass. You don't want it to break. 
you're walking around them and they have these fragile egos and you you don't you don't know that you 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 don't, you don't want to trigger them every little thing is a trigger to them so as an empath you must be careful about who you allow into your space you like the challenge you like the attention you like you you want them to be grateful to you for sticking around them when every other person has left because they tell you that you know nobody else can be with me but you and it makes you feel special because you you want someone to see you to love you to see you as special and so this person they they, they know what to feed you to keep you hooked and you like the challenge that drive that adrenaline drive all that high drama because you find peace to be boring if you think peace is boring if you've been around this out with these kinds of people any other person who's calm who's predictable becomes boring to you because you like that erratic behavior that, that unpredictability of this individual so understand what you're getting yourself into and figure out if this is what you really want